tell me you trust Taya Delgado. Even you aren't that stupid, Todd. Right, I promise you I shut Taya down. She's not going to even cross-examine stuff. We, she can say whatever she wants. Once she's in that courtroom, all those promises go right out the window. Fine. Star's going to tell the jury that you confessed to her that you were going to take her baby. And you think Taya's going to let that slide? She's not going to cross-examine Star. I told you that. She gave me a word just now. And I trust her on it. It's true. Your father tried to kill himself. I am so sorry. Where is he? Where is he? He's, he's okay. He shouldn't be alone right now. He shouldn't. What are you doing? He's okay. He is okay. I need to talk to you. This happened on New Year's Eve. He's all right. Why Star. didn't anybody tell me about that? Star, he didn't want you to know. Why not? Why not? He didn't want you to feel responsible. You're saying that my father tried to kill himself because of me? Star. Is that what you're trying to say? Star, listen to me. You and I both know your father is a very complicated man. And there is a lot, there is a lot going on for him right now. A lot of bad things are happening to him. He's lost Marty Saybrook. He can't see you kids. And he's facing a trial. And why did he say he didn't want me to feel responsible? I think you felt incredibly guilty about your baby's death. You should feel guilty. He paid a nurse to take my baby out of that delivery room. If she would have taken hope to, to nick you, she might still be alive right now. <gasps> Who told you that? Huh? Was it Nora Hannon? Lee Halpern is trying to stay out of prison. She will say anything the DA's office tells her to say. My mom and I saw Lee Halpern. She didn't look like a criminal. She just looked like a regular nurse. People aren't always what they seem. Dr. Joplin seemed like a good doctor, but she made a hideous mistake. One that resulted in your child's death. She is the reason your baby's not alive, not your father. And now Dr. Joplin is dead. Honey, you've been through hell. I am so sorry. Star. Dr. Joplin killed herself. My dad tried to kill himself because of me and my baby. I never should have told you any of this. This is exactly what your father didn't want. Do you know that if I would have never gotten pregnant, Dr. Joplin would still be alive and my dad wouldn't be on trial for murder? I don't care what promises Taya made to you. She's gonna rake Star over the coals because Taya can't stand to lose. The cards are stacked against you, Todd. How's that? Lee Halperin, Janet Kettering, Marty's nurse. Yeah. Remember her? Don't act like you're not worried. She was in the delivery room when Star's baby was born and she took her baby out of that room. And she was supposed to hand her over to you. But if she'd taken her to nick you, instead of going by your orders, her baby might still be alive. No, you can't know that. You think that's going to get you off the hook? Star knows now what you did. And she's going to have to live with that for the rest of her life. Todd, you can protect her from a whole lot of pain. If, if you would just confess, don't make her relive all that. You know that I want to be a good father to her. How am I supposed to do that from prison? Should have thought about that before. Star and Lee Halpern are just going to seal the deal. Lee Halpern is just a, just a ex-con, just a washed up whore. She's a joke. Oh, really? Yeah. I think when she tells the jury everything that she did in the delivery room and why she was there, I think they're going to think she's a barrel of laughs, don't you? Especially when she goes into detail about what you were paying her for. You have no idea the hell that Star's going through. We talk. Oh, were you talking about that little heart-to-heart -heart out of the cemetery? That only made things worse. At least she knows that I'm willing to do anything to win her back. Except confess. Todd, she's just a teenager. She should be out having fun with her friends. But you know what she was doing this morning? She was rehearsing her testimony. She's a wreck. She's gonna be fine. She's tough. She shouldn't have to be tough. Stars, anything but fun. <laughs> if 
there is one thing I want you to know is that you are not responsible mm -hmm. for any of this. Okay? It's perfectly natural for you to feel bad and responsible when something bad happens, but it is not your fault. Now, let's just stop for a second and take a deep breath, okay? You know, I already tried that, and it doesn't work so well. I'm so sorry your father tried to kill himself, Star. Just doesn't seem like him. Doesn't seem like something that my dad would ever do. Well, I, I don't I don't know the details. Yes. Yes, you do. You know some of them. What does it matter now? It matters to me. And if you don't want me to feel responsible, then I suggest you tell me all of them right now. Okay. I don't want you to feel responsible, so I will tell you everything I know. That night, your father and Marty had some sort of an encounter. He ended up on the roof of the Palace Hotel. Are you saying that he jumped? Your father's a lucky man. He landed in the river. What did Marty do to him? Only the two of them will ever know what happened in there. Why were they even together? He wanted a second chance. He wanted to make things right. He knows now that will never happen, which is why you are all the more precious to him, Estrella. He can't take back what he has done. No, you are absolutely right, Star. He can't take back what he has done. Your father is a passionate man. He's impulsive <laughs> and irrational at times. And that's done a lot of damage in his lifetime. I think this time around, he just, he couldn't deal with it. Do you think that he will try to kill himself again? Star, I'm gonna tell you something else your father did. He told me not to cross-examine you. No, I lie. He didn't tell me not to cross-examine you. He forbid me from cross-examining you. He would rather spend the rest of his life in prison than see you suffer for one more moment. You're not answering my question. Do you think he'll try to kill himself again? I... I wish I could answer that. You just did. Star, I'm trying to be there for your father, but it's not my forgiveness that he wants. Well, I don't know what to do. I know you don't. I know that you love him, but <laughs> he doesn't always make it easy, does he? No, he doesn't because he does terrible things to people. Yes, he does. And then he does something so beautiful and loving and it makes you think about what he could be maybe that's why i'm fighting so hard for him i want him to have another chance look i'm <laughs> i'm his lawyer i shouldn't even be here right now but i'm also your friend star and keeping this from you would have felt wrong I wanted you to know everything before you go into that courtroom again tomorrow. I do love you. I hope you know that. Thank you. give some thought to what I just said? I just did. More than a second. I don't need to, Blair. I'm not going to cut a deal with Nora. Oh, and that's it? No. Star's going to testify, like she did in the hearing. She's going to walk off the stand. That'll be it. Hello. 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 Hello.
slow. I'm going to give you one warning here. You go after my daughter on the stand, that little fall out the window is going to seem like a walk in the park. Well, uh, where have you been? Earning my hourly rate. <laughs> you seem awfully uplifted. What happened? A lot can happen in one morning, Todd. Took care of one problem. Now it's time to take care of another. Lee Halpern. On the next One Life to Live... You're a hookup, not my friend. Screw it up. Get up on the stand tomorrow morning and bury Todd Manning. Maybe I shouldn't testify against my dad. Your Honor, the people call Star Manning to the stand.